name's uh, Dan Christofferson. Like you said, I was <clears throat> born and raised here. Uh, tonight, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about my influences, uh, specifically the idea of uh, maximalism and kind of this over elaborate, don't know when to quit, um, just calm down, Dan type of design. <laughs> so, kind of the opposite of how I work is simplicity. You know, designers who will pull everything away and simplify until it's perfect. I just kind of keep adding and keep adding until I'm three days late on my slides and have to turn it in. So this is an illustration I did. It's um, coffee stained paper and pencil about these two elephants fighting. Um, thank you. The name of this, that piece was called Elephant Fightus. Uh, this is a painting in typical Dan style that I just kind of couldn't do in traditional painting. So I painted this piece. It's called Manners Before Mayhem. And I designed and built this 150-pound wood frame to go with the painting. The, the frame alone cost me $500, and I sold it for $700. So, um, the, the idea of, of kind of lavish richness and exploring that has kind of always obsessed me. This is a piece I did for a design shop in Portland. And they asked me to paint something on their front wall, and I uh, got some chalk and some gold paint and did the damn thing. Um, <laughs> A little whistle over here. Uh, this, these are a couple pieces I did based on some stories and some narratives from Salt Lake City. I love the idea of, of fantasy. You know, Salt Lake and our background is so full of uh, stories and these kind of fairy tales that, that, you know, you tell somebody or you bring the story of Salt Lake to somebody and they, they are kind of blown away. They're like, what do you mean crickets and beehives? And so, you know, these, these were some posters and some illustrations I did for the AIGA National Convention that, thank you, <laughs> they depicted six stories uh, from Utah history, the Deseret Alphabet, the crickets. Um, this is Salt Lake that I have tattooed on my throat. Um, the, it, you know, it's a city that, that sticks on your bones and it's a city that you want to talk about. It's a city that uh, everything about it um, kind of cr creates stories and richness and, and excess and that's sort of where my um, my history comes from and, and my design. So, I, I love the idea of of talking about you know this this group of exiled religious believers that came to this blank canvas and envisioned this you know lavish valley full of castles and cathedrals and buildings, and it was growing up near this amazing castle in the snowy mountains you know, that was supposed to be kind of built between God and man. It was this amazing story uh, that, when I was older, uh, brought me to Europe. And I, I'm trying to go slower so this next slide pops up, boom. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I lived among these amazing, lavish castles in, in the snowy mountains of, of southern Germany. And I, you know, this, this obsession with kind of over-the-top design and you know, richness and excess, and this maximalism just kind of stuck in my head as I studied, you know, these buildings and these cathedrals, and, and I would go in there and, you know, just look up and, and sketch, and from, you know, from the little corners of the tile on the floor to the, the, the chandeliers and the ceilings, everything is just impeccably filled with detail, which is, you know, just one of those things when you're, when you live in aesthetic, your mind just soaks all of that up, and you catalog it, and you, uh, I personally just became obsessed by it. You know, the idea that that culture uh, just fills every little crack with this meticulous artwork is, is something that has created uh, this monster inside of me to, to fill the world. So I started, you know, living in these cities in Europe, I started realizing they were set up uh, in a very familiar way to me. You start to see that every little corner of these huge cities is filled with impeccable design and detail and teeny shops and, you know, they, they spread on forever and they, just like the ceilings of their cathedrals and their castles, all of these cities are just packed with, with lavish um, aesthetic, which, which made me think of, you, you know, it was all very familiar to me and it brought me back to the idea of my own art and my own design and I kind of likened it to the idea of a sketchbook you know the way we work with sketchbooks I'll sketch something on one page and then flip it over to the next page but this these European cities made me think of filling the sketchbook and then you're done you don't have any more room and you have to go back to the first page and start filling in all the corners and their cities and their culture is sort of packed like that 
And the point that I think Salt Lake City is at is we've sort of filled our book, and now we're going back to start to pack in this aesthetic and this culture and this music and this art. So to me, you know, coming back from Europe and, and being sort of baptized in this rich, lavish like culture of the old masters, I was still a young kid. I loved skateboarding and BMX and graffiti, and it started evolving into you know, apparel design and skateboard design, and I loved spray painting. Um, you know, you can see, if, if, you, if you sort of squint, you can see this richness in, you know, street art. And for me, it, it was easy to start moving into that. So after I had kind of, you know, painted murals and, and illustrated, there was one more canvas that I kind of hadn't got to yet, right? So being a maximalist and being that type of person that had to fill every little corner of everything with detail and illustration, I, I'm kind of dedicated to it and I'm, I'm going to finish this project. So, here's the Bronx Top of the Shop. A little back of the shop too. I think on the right side, if you look, you can see a little bit of butt cheek too. So, y'all got to see some tonight, right? So, the, the, the point that this maximalism and this, this lavish uh, illustration gives me is, is kind of a calmness. It's, you know, it's taking all of this absurd uh, chaos of design and aesthetic and it's, it's cataloging it and creating these beautiful visuals out of all of that. So it's almost like as I fill every last corner of a page or finish the last little tattoo on my body, it's a, it feels almost like you know, when you mow that last bit of lawn or you, you, you comb over just a little bit of carpet with your vacuum in your living room and everything gets smoothed out. So, thank you.